Hey guys, welcome to another episode with Grim. Today I'd like to show you a TDM with some tips and tricks and what I'm thinking along the way. Let me know if you're a fan of Miami or not. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, so running from this side I like to throw a nade over the building. Just hopefully catch anyone without any flak jacket. Also works with frags. Now as I come through the building I want to wait and see if any rushes push this hallway. And generally you can hear if anyone's above you as well. You got a 50-50 chance of them looking over, looking over the edge. So now, after I kill this guy here, I would generally turn right. Someone rushed our spawn, so I had to try to pick him off. There we are. Got some terrible accuracy here, but I stop him from pushing with his teammate. So now we try to go for the flank. It pays off. So we get a quick kill here, followed up by another kill. And as I move forward. I uh, hear a guy above me, so still want to look out just to make sure, and then I proceed to go get old mate upstairs. Very lucky with that kill, so definitely don't want to be hanging around. Now guys, would you call this next person camping or defending? Yeah, I definitely want to hear your opinions on this guys. I think he's camping, but could have been the guy I just killed. Now running through the middle here, I don't like to do it, there's not much cover and as you can tell in a couple of seconds, like, it's hard to see people. Like, I can't see this guy till he's, like, till I'm dead, pretty much. So, but again, from my other SBM, SBM movie, definitely want to remember your deaths, throw a cheeky nade there, try to get him. So, now from killing this guy, I assume he's thinking I'm going to push. So I decided to double back, noticing majority of my team is around me, so it's safe to say that they have pool and beachside. Teammate dies, confirming this. And uh, it's very unlucky for this bloke that he didn't have ninja, and why you should wear ninja. In almost any game mode. Now, we won't talk about this accuracy right here, but <laughs> this is why you wear ninja. Now guys, I try to not use the staircase as much as possible, and I would definitely not recommend hanging around Balcony at all. Now, coming up here is a good place to put a field mic because it covers Cabana and Ellie. And people for some reason don't destroy field mics, it's weird. So again, trying to stay away from middle, catch this guy here, and this is a perfect reason why I stay away from middle. Like, there's too many lines of sight, and uh, it's just hard. Now, Get unlucky here, but you know, now we're going to go flank guy in balcony. But um, can we get a like for this nade timing, please? You know, comment down below if you think it's luck or skill. So, pushing around, definitely again trying to stay away from the middle with my field mic. I can see and I try to clear anyone pushing down from balcony and try to surprise anyone at driveway. Now, this crate here, try to remember it. It has got me so many kills, it's amazing. So, now, get a nice little spree here. This, uh, this one's a close one. Unlucky there's a guy in the back. But, you know, from my uh, SBM videos, remember every death. And if you carry Semtex or nades, definitely try to throw it back in the direction you just died from. can also work as a distraction. And uh, I was very unlucky for this guy not to have Ninja. And the only way to, like, sort of pass a field mic is to crouch. So, even if you have Ninja and you're not crouching, you'll still sh show up. Now, I don't know if I should have cut this bit out, but uh, let me get... No, guys. And, uh, hello! Well, what's this guy doing here? <laughs> so, pushing forward again. I see the guy. Unlucky, there's another one there. Throw that nade again, try to get lucky, again trying to stay away from middle, and then doing the same play, trying to stop anyone pushing stairs. So catch this guy here. All I can recommend in this scenario is to fall back while ADSing, and um, that's it. Now right here, this is why you should use Ninja, this guy has no idea I'm there, that's an easy kill. Now I'm assuming these two are working together, so I don't want to stick around. Now we luckily catch this guy pushing across, and I'm fairly confident that I can kill him. 
It pays off there. We hear the care pack get called in, so definitely want to chase that. And now we, uh, we end up hearing someone here on our right. And like I said before, I do not like pushing this way, but if someone's in close proximity, got to give it a crack. Now I see this guy here go for the cover. And I see another guy there. So now we're in a 2v1 situation. And I just try to push it. Now I choose the wrong play and jump. If I slid, I might have had a chance. Has uh, anyone ever been lost in Miami? Because I was definitely lost here. <laughs> now guys, I can't stress this enough. Destroy field mics. I catch these two here because they're still on my field mic. And get absolutely lucky with this headshot here. <laughs> Uh, here's me practicing what I preach. Definitely destroy any field mic I see. Throw a cheeky nade over there, try to get lucky. And uh, all I can say about this dude here is just get duked, homie. Absolutely duked. Get a bit unlucky there. But we know that there's a lot of people on this side. So we're going to try to take it a little bit slower until we get this kill and then it's all about speed trying to counter any call outs that have been made now guys i don't normally go into balcony i'll check it maybe once or twice a game and that's it now seeing this hit marker i wouldn't normally chase it up and you'll see in a second why it's it's too many lines to cover when you jump out of balcony it's just super hard so now we know that guy's flanking he's around near pool cabana stairs so we're going to try to see if we can find him and cut him off. Now my assumption was right. We see him there. Now he's in a very tight spot. He could jump over and I can hear him. So there's not much he can do. Now I would not recommend pushing like this guy did. As 9 out of 10 times that will happen to you. Get an easy kill on this guy. Not paying attention. Zero awareness. And catch this guy on the UAV. Now I only push this guy because he's very low health. I know it's going to be hard for him to stem shot and turn around and shoot me. Guys, I'd love to hear your opinion on sentry guns. Me personally, I think they're very weak. You know, one nade and it's gone. And lastly, lucky we catch this guy with our ghost. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Big shout out to Kinch Gaming and G Fuel. Make sure to use those codes at the checkout. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Truly appreciate it. Remember, get that good karma with a like and a sub.